Hello friends, this is David Sami with The Christian Journey. What is the goal in Christian life? After our conversion, what should we pursue? This seems to be an elementary question, but whether we are a new believer or a seasoned Christian, it is one that we should ask ourselves every once in a while, just to be sure that we are on the right track. Now, we can look at Apostle Paul as an example of what did he pursue and also what did he wish for other believers to become. In the book of Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 we read that I may know him. Now what is interesting is I may know him as much as Apostle Paul knew about Christ, it seems like he was a striving to know more. But the word for know is not just a head knowledge or a factual knowledge, but it's an experimental knowledge that I want to get to know Christ by experience. I want to have a well-rounded knowledge of him. I want to understand him. You know, sometimes some of us may know some friends so well that we understand them. We know where they're coming from. We can maybe predict what they're going to do. That is what Apostle Paul was striving after. That I want to get to know Christ so deeply that I would understand him in an experimental way. But he also tells the Galatians, in Galatians 4.19, he says, I'm in anguish, I'm in labor, until Christ be formed in you. Until signifies a point in time. I am in labor to the point in time that Christ be formed in you that Christ takes shape in you, that I am in anguish until the point that you begin to resemble Christ, that you become Christ-like. What is the goal and main objective in Christian life? That we want to get to know Christ and understand Him and copy him and become more and more like him to resemble him that other people should be able to look at us and be able to see a glimpse of what Jesus is like that this should be the main objective in our Christian life but if you are going to examine where you are at in your walk what is it that you are pursuing? I know for me, when I first became a Christian, many people that I listened to and the fellowship that I attended was very big on the subject of prophecy. Because some of the people that I listened to felt like the subject of prophecy is one that really makes us excited about Christ and about Christian life. But you see, it didn't really help me to become more godly. But for me at least, it became a rabbit trail that I was looking at all the world events and what's going on in Europe, what's going on in Israel, newspaper in one hand and Bible in the other and trying to predict what is coming. Now prophecy has a place in our Christian life, but it should never become the focal point of our walk. Because what it does, it becomes a rabbit trail that takes us on a road that takes us away from what we should be focusing. We want to focus on getting to know Christ personally and becoming more like Him, to copy Him, and to be able to gradually resemble Him. How do we do that? That should be the question that we should ask and strive toward. 
So if you're going to look at yourself now, what is the main focus in your walk? What is grabbing all your attention now? What are you striving at? Are you becoming more and more like Christ? Or are you becoming more kind of frustrated? Or maybe you want to see certain things happen. Maybe you want the country to become more Christian-like. Or maybe there are other pursuits that in of themselves are not wrong, but they have become a rabbit trail to take us away from the right path, away from the path that should dominate our walk. So, just a thought that I wanted to present because I can look back in my walk and see how certain subjects became a rabbit trail that took me away from the main objective. Let's not lose sight of the main goal of Christianity, which really should be Christ-like godliness. And that's what we should strive after and focus and keep moving forward in that direction. Well, may the Lord be with you. May He bless you. May He make His face to shine upon you and give you peace. Until next time, this is David Sami with The Christian Journey.